going on in your show today? Um, we are having a music video fest, which is great. People cool. are sending in some really great music videos. And I just wanted to ask if anyone's made a music video for their A-levels or just for fun, to send it to Dan and Phil at bbc.co.uk. Kaboom. Awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we've also got a Dan versus Phil, maybe featuring a rubber ring from the sea. Yes. Where do you have these ideas? We just, th th this floor is just filled with weird props. Yeah. We just walk around and we see a Most giant inflatable tire, and we're maybe. like, we we should play hoopla with it on camera, sure. obviously. Yeah. So, yeah. This is still less demeaning than the crawling on the floor. Still, thing. yeah, that we're was, slowly working that was our way up. From low, that. that was I feel a life like. low. The only way is up. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. The only Literally. way is up, yeah. Dan. Um, now you guys come in every week. <laughs> yes. You read out the album chart. I'll try to. You do it with magnificent aplomb. It's a Thank good concept. Zelly, I feel like she was quite icy. Last Slightly week. icy. She wouldn't no. even watch. She wouldn't look at us. Not as icy as what I've got prepared this week. Oh, Can you see this? Oh, nice okay. Segue. okay. So, so let, let me explain what's going on. Right. So we read the album chart, like you mm, said, but nice. we're doing it with distractions on the basis that as we make it really hard for ourselves, we'll become really good presenters. Sure. So I was tickled last week, the week before that, I was rapping Phil in toilet roll, and this week because it's really hot, I will be dropping ice cubes down Phil's shirt mm. as he attempts to read the oh, album chart. Are you good with the cold? No, thing? this is by far the worst thing ever for Definitely. me. Definitely. They're slightly moist as well, which will make it colder. Oh, good. Slightly I'm, I'm moist. I'm going to do my very best slightly moist. Sorry, to read this out clearly and concisely for the artists. Fine. Sorry, I'll try my best. Mm -hmm. Do it. But get on the website, because this is definitely... I thought you did a stellar job reading out when he was covering your eyes for me. Uh, thanks. Yeah, okay. well, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Right. BBC Radio 1. The home of the official album chart. Oh, this okay. week's top five albums. But you only need the five. Down two is Passenger with All the Little Lights. All the Little Lights has now spent 11 weeks on the official album chart, its highest chart position to date having been at number two. Passenger were a band until 2007 when the members chose to go their own Straight separate the ways, leaving singer-songwriter Mike Rosenberg to go it alone. Hope he's not too lonely. Oh, this is so oh, cool. Your veins are starting to go. <laughs> down to it's Rod Stewart with Time. Oh, Seven weeks on the official album chart and Rod Stewart's <laughs> Time is still going strong at number four. Time is the first album of his new material for 68 years and 2001. That didn't make sense. I'm sorry, Rod Stewart. <laughs> it's gone down my pants. The new entry, Pet Shop Boys Electric. This is the first album the Pet Shop Boys have released on their own label, Time Stake 2, marking the end of a 28 year shaking. relationship with Parlophone. It features a collaboration with Example, which is exciting. Oh, the, my pants are getting so wet. Oh, no, number two, down one. Jay-Z with Magna Carta Holy Grail. <laughs> Magna Carta Holy Grail gave Jay-Z his first ever number one album in the UK, but just after one week, he already been kicked off the top spot. Zayn Lowe did some great stuff with Jay-Z, which can be seen on the Radio 1's YouTube channel. He asked about living with Beyonce. Oh. And number one, it's Robin Thicke, a new entry with Blurred Lines. This is Robin Thicke's first UK number one album. The last time he appeared in the album chart was almost exactly six years ago. <laughs> the evolution of Robin Thicke, which peaked at number 30. Well done, Robin Thicke. Blurred Lines has dominated the official singles chart since its release last month, spending five weeks at number one. Oh! Phil, stand up and shake, stand up and shake, stand up and shake. Oh, it's just, oh, oh no, oh god, oh, it's all oh no. See, Wow! Oh. Congrats to Robin Thicke. Congrats to Phil for surviving. Oh, oh. Phil's testes must have attracted back into his body. I just right. out his of his arm eyes. It's so That's... cold. It oh. went down my bum. Are you anyway. actually physically okay? No. Well, you did a great job reading it. I thought. Your friendship is really doomed. <laughs> I know. We're, we're like, the only people so that could survive on this. The line. <laughs> Maybe. It's unbelievable. It's on the line. So you live together. So yeah. I, mean, I know. Do you have to lock your doors at well, night? The and thing is, this, this is how we vent our natural hatred for each other. You know, from living together. Thanks for doing that on my show. Man. I Thank That's you, Jimmy. Nice family vibes. <laughs> I need to think of something good for next week now. Definitely. Oh, yeah. The level has been raised. Turn. It's my um, turn. Yeah, I feel like you didn't really go in last week. I no. Like you were still scared. I was too nervous around Iggy Azalea. I just had to get over that. She was not in the room. She was not there. <laughs> she was not in the room. <laughs> Anyone who heard last week knows that she was not here. <clears throat> All right. Moving on. We are now into your top five. This means that the race is now officially on. Is it Robin Thick? Or is it Avicii? I can tell you that neither of them are number five because it is in fact Will I Am, the man of the voice. This is Bang Bang.